reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, Cyrenaeans, Alexandrians, and others from Cilicia and Asia, stood up and argued with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people as well as the elders and the scribes, and then they suddenly confronted him, seized him, and brought him before the council. They set up false witnesses who said, This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law, for we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses handed to us. And all who sat in the council looked intently at him, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. And the high priest asked him, Are these things so? And Stephen replied, Brothers and fathers, listen to me. The God of glory appeared to our ancestor Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia, before he lived in Haran. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one? And now you have become, become his betrayers and murderers. You are the ones that received the law as ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. When they heard these things, they became enraged and ground their teeth at Stephen. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears, and with a loud shout, they all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. And while they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he died. The word of the Lord. Today, this December 26, is St. Stephen's Day. And, uh, of course, Stephen has a special place in my heart, being my patron saint. As you uh, may have heard in a video sermon uh, a few Sundays past, on, well, on All Saints Day, when I uh, jokingly called St. Stephen patron saint of all Stephens. And that got a good chuckle. But uh, truthfully, truthfully, this is an important day for me. I have always taken it dearly to my heart that I'm named after this great saint. Uh, this saint who was not only the first deacon of the church, but also the first martyr of the church. And I have long pondered in my heart growing up as a child and then as a young man and then as a priest, trying to discern who I am called to be in this world, what it's like to be like Stephen, who, when the bishops looked out at a community that they were trying to feed and nurture and take care of, and they realized it was more work than, than they could do alone, and that they needed people to step forward and say, here am I, send me. And Stephen was among the first to do that, to raise up his hand and say, I'll do what I can to help. I've dedicated my life to trying to say, I want to do what I can to help. He was the first martyr of the church. The first one who, when given the choice to betray his faith when it was hard and it might cost him, even to the point of costing his life, he was willing to literally die rather than give up what he knew in his heart God called him to be and to do. And I've certainly had my moments where there was a heavy cost for trying to do what I thought was right, but I was inspired and strengthened by the example of Stephen. I dare say, even if your name isn't Stephen, you could still use this day to remember, uh, honor, and follow the lessons from St. Stephen. 
to be that person standing up in the crowd saying, here am I, send me, and to, and to use his strength to strengthen you that when you are facing hard times and facing a point where it would be easier to rebuke your faith, even if it will cost you not to, to be strong, to for, not to forget who you are called to be. Let this powerful example of a saint and a martyr inspire all of us and move us to participate in the work of the Holy Spirit in the world of human beings like you and me. Happy St. Stephen's Day, everyone.